Hey guys, welcome, welcome. So I'm still here. Um, I'm still swiping, not transfer swipes, just swipes. Um, I just did one video, it's not posted yet, but I'll try to get it up and post it. And I'm back to swiping with little bits of paper, just for fun, just for something fun. I've been transfer swiping for a while now and it just kind of felt like a good thing to go back to, start back where I started. So same, same base as always, Beauty Tone Velvet. It's generally, other than the Black Onyx by Walmart, it's pretty much the only base paint that I use uh, because it works. Glidden Essentials does not work for me. I do not know why, it just does not work. I've tried it many, many times. All right, my colors. So my colors are, this is Atelier Red Black. So we're gonna use the same premise as always. If I like the piece, I will not do anything. If I hate it, we'll modify. And if I still hate it, we'll scrape it. So you can see how nice and gooey and thick these paints are with the Seco and really stringy and strandy. Yeah, they're really, really fun to play with. All right, look at this. This is a Shimmer Festival. This is the new TLP in Zeus. Gorgeous. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then my color lineup here, you guys. Um, Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. So my last piece, it was a little thick, a uh, little thicker than this. And so I just added a little bit more base to it. We're gonna play with some stringy paint and just see what happens. And then we're going to do, I was gonna throw some blue in there. So this is golden, phthalo turquoise, and then brulee. Reminds me of that soccer song, that ole, 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 but it's not, it's brulee. Very pretty color. Um, yeah, I think if I, I guess that's probably one of my favorites of the new ones. I really like interference colors. I used a lot of jacquard interference, and so this is an interference paint, and it is absolutely gobsmacking. Gobsmacking. Okay, this is Amsterdam Golden Ochre with only a little bit of pigment in it. So it's just kind of a really soft, soft, pretty yellow and then we're going to swipe in black and white and like I said if I like it I leave it alone if I hate it I'll modify it and if I still hate it I will scrape it okay little red piece of paper black cell mix and we're going to actually put a little bit Maybe of the golden blue back on it, right on our paper. And then we're gonna go through this. All right, my friends, here we go. One, two, three. Loving the red black. I do, I do. And I think I'm gonna get a little wider piece. Tear the edges. Turn you guys around. And this time I'm gonna do red. I'm gonna do black cell mix with some more quinacridone. Nickel Ezo Gold. And then I'm gonna come in over here. And then we're gonna just let that sit for a jiffy. And then we're gonna stretch it and spin it maybe. And we'll see what happens. So I'm really liking these stringy paints. 
Um, I like them a lot, actually. Kind of, kind of gives us a whole other bunch of things to play with with stringy, stringy paints that kind of, that they definitely hold their shape. Um, I posted just a little kind of a trial piece with stringy paints and it's exactly the way it was dry as it was wet. I'm gonna go off that corner. So when I look at this, I wanna keep this and I wanna keep this stringy quinacridone so we're gonna go off this side even though this is pretty it's really concentrated with black and something has to go so if I had to make a call which I do um, I'm gonna get rid of that side but first we're gonna pop a one little bubble of white here because I don't like it maybe another one there and then we're going to keep stretching with our stringy paints. So because I have a lot of paint left on this right now, I'm just going to go right off that edge right now. Right to there. And now we're just going to stretch it slowly. So I'm happy with this composition and I really, I don't want to lose, I don't want to lose either thing here. So I don't think I'm going to spin it. I think we're just going to keep just working on it slow. Okay, let's come down here to this corner. Back to center. We've let your paint work for you. Okay, I'm going to come back off this side a little bit more and stretch out that little bit. There we go. Hmm. That's it, you guys. <laughs> going to stay just like that so the only thing I'm not really really okay with is there's a blue daub in the middle of that quinacridone I'm not 100% thrilled with that I don't know how to get it out without probably wrecking something though so I think I'll just leave it alone right there I don't like that one blue spot and I don't like this white splotch and I'm not going to modify, I'm just going to leave it alone. Um, I'm pretty happy with composition. I love this. I like the way it fades out. And yeah, so I'm going to put you on hold. That was super quick, you guys. I'm going to put you on hold and bring you down. And I'll probably pour again. All right, guys, here we go. Hold you goes. All right, that was like my nine minute, 38 second speed pour. Um, so my colors are just slammed in there the way I like them. Um, it's not full of cells and lacing, but it's super pretty, I think. And I love this. I love the stringy paint. Um, I see a little white dot that I have to fix. 
And we do have a little bit of cells. That's it, you guys. Stringy Paint Seco Mix. I'll put it in the description box, but it's the same as I have been using. It's the 3 to 1 ratio. Three parts Seco instead of Velspar. Two parts Minwax Polyacrylic and one part glue. Um, and I just used school glue. I didn't use glue all this time. All right, guys, take care. Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen tonight. You guys are awesome. Um, I hope you like this pour. You know what? Stringy paints just give you sort of one more option of something to play with. All right, my friends, pour happy, stay safe. We'll talk really soon. Focus camera. My camera's lost focus, you guys. I apologize too for that. My camera is glitching out. We're kind of at the point where my contract has been up for about six months. So of course, Fido puts a self-destruct chip in your phone so that right before you, you know, finish paying it off, you have to sign up for another two-year contract. All right, my friends, enough whining about cell phones for me. We'll talk soon. Bye, guys.